Prenatal diagnosis makes it possible to identify or exclude possible anomalies of fetal development, related or not related to chromosomal abnormalities. Its main stages are screening of the first and second trimester, a complex ultrasound and biochemical examination. They are carried out at certain times, the first trimester 11 to 14 weeks. Better from 12 to 13 weeks, the second trimester 16 to 20 weeks, better from 18 to 19 weeks. The main goals of the examination are, firstly, to rule out developmental abnormalities that can be detected by ultrasound, and secondly, on the basis of ultrasound data, certain parameters in the pregnant woman's blood and other data. Determine whether there is a risk of having a child with a chromosomal pathology in each individual situation. If the risk is higher than the threshold, pregnant women are offered a more in-depth, invasive examination. In the first trimester, it is a biopsy of the chorionic villi, in the second, amniocentesis. When the cells of the amniotic fluid are examined, chordocentesis, blood from the umbilical cord of the fetus, or placentocentesis, the cells of the fetal placenta. The examination in the third trimester is aimed at evaluating the growth and development of the fetus, the obstetric situation, the position of the fetus, the location of the placenta. The amount of amniotic fluid, to rule out developmental delay and deviations that can be detected in the later stages of pregnancy. With the help of prenatal ultrasound examination, it is possible to exclude or confirm a huge number of anomalies. These are reduction defects, absence of limbs, abnormalities of the brain and spinal cord, heart defects of various degrees of severity, defects in the development of the kidneys, gastrointestinal tract, and other developmental disorders. Prenatal screenings. Using a combination of ultrasound and biochemical data, so-called markers, make it possible to identify a group at risk of the presence of pathologies associated with a violation of the number of chromosomes. When carrying out invasive examinations and subsequent determination of the chromosomal set of the fetus in this risk group, such common chromosomal pathologies as Down, Edwards, Patau and other syndromes can be excluded. Pathologies of the fetus are not always and not necessarily related to heredity and the presence of pathologies in the family. 90% of abnormalities occur in families that have never had any abnormalities. Some of them are related to chromosomal abnormalities, some, to genetic mutations. Carrier typing can and should be done by parents when planning a pregnancy, especially in situations related to infertility or miscarriage. But this does not exclude the need for screenings with each subsequent pregnancy, since most chromosomal pathologies can form even with normal indicators in parents. I will say even more. Being in the risk group does not mean having a sick child. This only means an increased risk, the possibility that the child may be born with some abnormalities. For example, a risk of 1 in 50 means that out of 50 women with the same indicators, only one will give birth to a child with a pathology, and 49 have the opportunity to give birth to healthy babies. Therefore, falling into the risk group is only a signal that it is necessary to conduct a more detailed examination to confirm or remove the diagnosis. With correct ultrasound and biochemical screening, the accuracy of detecting chromosomal pathology in the first trimester reaches 95%. Agree, this is a very high percentage, the second screening has somewhat lower accuracy. The safest invasive method of examination is diagnostic amniocentesis, which is performed in the second trimester of pregnancy. In civilized countries, prenatal screening is a generally accepted norm. No one can force anyone, but this is the standard of examination of women during pregnancy, specified in the recommendations of the Ministry of Health of Ukraine. It is also important to understand that it is necessary to carry out an examination during each subsequent pregnancy, regardless of the results of the previous one.